The American gridlock over Ukraine aid is already having consequences on the battlefield. That was the warning from NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg after a two-day meeting of the alliance's defense ministers in Brussels. Stoltenberg hopes the U.S. Congress will soon unblock a hard-fought bill that includes a $60 billion military and financial support for Kyiv. But Republican opposition in the House of Representatives remains stiff and is being influenced by presidential hopeful Donald Trump. The Secretary General will brief you on... The fact that uh, the US has not been able to make a decision so far has already had consequences. It is impacting the flow of support. Uh, to some extent, uh, this can be compensated by increased support from other allies. And the European allies uh, and Canada are uh, stepping up, are doing more. Stoltenberg said assistance to Ukraine would be an example of transatlantic burden sharing rather than the US working alone. The Secretary General also warned that Putin's victory in Ukraine could set a precedent for a Chinese invasion of Taiwan. If President Putin wins in Ukraine, uh, it, uh, it's also a, a challenge uh, for us. Uh, it will uh, be um, a message to authoritarian leaders, not only Putin, but also uh, to uh, President Xi, that when they use military force, they get what they want. Uh, what happens in Ukraine today can happen uh, in uh, Taiwan uh, tomorrow. As part of the ongoing support for Ukraine, NATO defense ministers agreed to set up a new joint center in Poland. The hub will allow Ukraine's armed forces to share lessons learned from the war and train alongside their NATO counterparts.